Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 Points with another little non F video. Uh, it's for the rubbish upgrade, if you didn't tell by the thumbnail and title. And before I get started, I did do a little bit of customizing on the second right guard figure. I did paint up his forearms, shins, these little circles on the lower legs, as well as the hood or front end of the motorcycle, a, the same shade of brown, just to kind of match up with the head sculpt. But I've also, you know, taken some of the parts off, took off the old Rekgar head and the little nipple guns. So now he's kind of in the configuration I want to turn him into rubbish. So let's go ahead. Whoop, there goes Rekgar. And I did get the initial Rekgar upgrade from non -F, So you get these little blasters as well as this one. And they don't look too bad. He also got new guns for the chest, but I, I kind of like the stock ones as they are. So we'll go ahead and set him off to the side while we focus on doing this. So, so in this, we get this little windshield piece that'll go on the new head. There's the new head, the brackets for the knee spikes, as well as the hinges for those. Then we got the new chest piece as well as the hinges for the the new wheel, the spikes for the knee guards, and the new pieces. Need to look and see what this is right here. The wheel itself, and then pieces for the head. So you get two different mouth plates. You get just the nose for <clears throat> the the brown face plate here. For more accurate rubbish and then you get a generic junky on face so if you wanted to you can get another set and turn it into another junky on so let's go ahead and start by doing this wheel just go ahead and nip that off of there go ahead and do the same on this other side there's that then I think for this new chest piece, we'll just go ahead and bend that off of there. Then take my X-Acto and clean that up a little bit. So there's that. And we'll go ahead and get this new spike piece. And there's a specific way to put these on. Yep, so I'll head it backwards. Just pop that in like that. It is a bit tight, but does go on fairly well. I mean, it's nice and snug. It works, right? All right. So there's the wheel. And then there's these bracket pieces. So again, we'll just go ahead and Twist those off. Okay, let me grab my exacto and clean those up a little bit. Okay, so I just looked and this is for the for the eyes, so let's go ahead and get that off of there. And for those, these are for our chest piece. And here's our little spikes, which I guess we can just pop those off because they're not really going anywhere, like where they're going to be visible, unlike these. There's the other part of that bracket. So what this will do is plug into here. And we just put these spikes in whoop, like that. And this will just slide over this. And 
and now he's got some spikes for his knees. This is a little off center because this uh, spike is off, but still looks all right. that off and then clean it up here. Okay, there we go. And for the other one, do the same thing. Just nip it there. Plug that into there. And just pop that in. If it will cooperate. It'll take me a second. Okay, there we go. So again, we just slide this over here. Attach it to oh and there goes those. We'll just put this back on here. It is just on a friction peg, so it is going to come off easily. I'd rather that happen than having it break entirely. Right, so there's his new knee spikes. <clears throat> All right, then from here, I'll just take this piece. It looks like it goes down like that. Give me just a second. Okay, so for these bracket pieces, you want that little section pointing out. Where's the other one at? What do I do with it? Ah, here it is. So the other one goes on the same way. Just like that. And I guess we should have put them in the chest first, if the pieces will cooperate. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, got the first one in. The second one should be just fine. Or maybe it's going to give me a rough time too. Yep, hang on. Okay, so there we go, we got that, and then just pinch it together. It's not quite wanting to stay in place. There we go. I imagine once we get it on the chest, like that. There we go. So there's that all put together. Then we take one of these ball joints, make sure you have it offset that way. Pop it into here. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, offset to the side. Okay. And let me grab my those and just pop that in there. We'll do the same with the other side here. I want it pointing out to the outside. That one popped in a lot easier. Just take that and apply it to the chest. And then those ball joints should just pop in. It's easier said than done. Hang on once again. Okay, so it seems like we finally got it. So collapse that back up as it should be. And there we have our new spiky chest. Oop, 
There goes the kneecap again. So there's that. <clears throat> just get them balanced here. All right, give me just one more moment. And we still got more of these weapons for them. As well as some extra piping here, which just go ahead and nip those off. Put uh, on this side, you want this little peg here to go into that little square hole. Yes, it is the reverse of what you learned in preschool, or not even preschool, as a toddler. You put the round peg in the square hole and it fits. Who'd have thought? So there's that. Let me take these blaster pieces. Much like Retgar, we can put these on the shoulder here just for some extra aesthetic flair. Maybe I got those, yeah, I got those on backwards. Hang on. But in like that, and then same on this side. Of course, you still got a little pinwheel and the blaster. There we got that now, and of course we get these new exhaust pieces. And put them right here on the lower legs. Just like that, fill out those legs some. Now we can focus on putting together the new head. Go ahead and I guess snap these pieces off right here. Of course, the front of the head and then the mouth plate. I will go ahead and nip that off if I can. Okay, give me just a second here. All right, so I've got all the pieces for the head here separated. So we'll take this piece that has the eyes and this little like light piece that goes in there. Then we'll grab our schnoz. That will go right there along with our mouth plate. Whoop, wants to jump off his face. There's that. Now put it onto the front there. So we've got most of his head done. Then from here, we've got this section here at the ball joint. And that seems to go like that. I think wedged. Okay, hang on. Make sure I'm doing this right. Got this piece here on the side. Goes into there. Hang on. Okay, so from here, take the handlebars and put them into this visor piece that has a really nasty nub mark on it. Those together like that. Now we'll plug into the side. Wait, I got that backwards. Okay, so it's up like that, and that plugs into here. 
Do I have that upside down? No. Hang on a second. Okay, so I was putting that together all wrong. So this will plug into here like that with the edge of the visor pointing forward like that with the ball joint relief and facing that way. Then we plug the handlebars in at the back like that. And from here, plug in the sides of the helmet. So just like that. Then we plug the front end on, and these pegs, it doesn't help that everything is pegged in, not glued together. I should have glued at least these parts together like this. But now they're wanting to fall apart. Hang on. And there we have our rubbish head. We'll go ahead and pop that on. There we go. And, you know, since he's a different character, why not have the handlebars up? Give him a little bit more flair. Next to his commander, Retgar. So there you've got that. And then you've got this extra piece. I mean, if you wanted to get another Retgar figure and do another one that has that face instead of the mouth plate, do that. I'm considering it but it's just going to be something in due time. But there, there you go. You get a slightly different looking junk on. And if you do what I did, either put some new paint on the shins and forearms or just strip the paint from them with some isopropyl alcohol, you could do that too. I mean, it is your figure, your custom, your junk on. I just tried to get them as close as I could to the, the character model that I saw. He had similar colored forearms and nearly the same shade on the legs. So I tried to go something like that with just slightly different tones, but I like it. So get him into motorcycle mode is just the same as Retgar for the most part. And for these, you'll just take these off. Straighten out the feet. Oh, hope these don't pop off. I mean, you can take them off if you want to. Put them in different areas. It shows that you can put them on the knees. So go here. Of course, there is a little bit of parts forming, which is... Nothing new if you're a Transformers fan. And remove the waist. Like that. Bring that back. I did paint this front end. Some of the paint chipped off, so I went over it. I might go over it with another clear coat later. But this is just a rough, you know, custom. Try to get the colors as close as I could, mixing them myself. So not too bad. For this chest piece, you bring want to bring it out and around just like that. Hope the Parts don't come flying off. That just folds into there. And it goes up just like it would for Retgar. Up into there. Bring arms down. It's been a while since I've transformed this mold, so but it's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. There we go. I guess. There. Like that. Of course, this tabs in to the bicep. I can, hang on a second. Okay, so now I got it. Whoa, my brightness is way off here. There we go. All right, so just like that, everything collapsed in properly, which is what I wasn't doing. 
bring my forearm in and tab that, of course, into the bicep. Actually, I should put the wheel on first and bring this section. Okay. But Okay, so you want it off center like that, and I need to put another coat there. So just like that. There we go. And of course, we'll transform the legs the same way, except from here, we'll take these and little exhaust pieces, plug them in like that. Then these will tab into the side here. Maybe it's the other way. Actually, no. I remember now. You want to tap into there with that slot to fill that in. And then, of course, that tab, foot tabs into the bicep. Just make sure everything's straightened out. And there's our exhaust pipe pointed down. Or, you know, if you want, point it up. Actually, it is going to have to be pointed down because of these knee spikes. Where's the other one? They both pop off. Here it is. So this one will just slide right over. And that's not going to work there. So we'll just put it on the front end of the motorcycle because you can plug them into the forearms too. on there and it just slides right back into place and actually I might put them on the front kind of like a bumper add some more spikes there to the front it is a little bit loose on this side Then plug the back wheel in. Where's our this? So again, same thing, plug that into there. There's that. All tabbed in. Come on. And there we have uh, rubbish in motorcycle mode. And yeah, I mean, it's a neat, somewhat unique looking junk. And he's got the front end spikes there. Kind of even looking front end. You got the tubing for the engine, which I'm going to paint these and the exhaust pipes silver, just so they match up with the engine itself a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good for the most part. You can store this one up here or actually at the back like that. And you can get that guy in the back here because there is this tab here and the slot in the waist on Repgar. I have to take this wheel off so you can get them on there comfortably somewhat. Oop. Thankfully the leg is on a mushroom peg. I don't know how I knocked that off. But there we go tabs in to there. Knock the other wheel off his arm, I guess. And you can get them 
riding around shoot, shouting Jurani do Ron Ronnie Mo. Throwing his uh little pinwheel axe at Springer. I guess put this on his forearm for the time being. Store, of course, Retgar's weapon on the back there. And we'll put... Uh, I don't know what to do with this other one. But yeah, there's our kit for Rubbish. Alright, so getting Rubbish into robot mode from vehicle mode is pretty much the same as Retgar, just like before, a few added steps. So go ahead and remove that weapon. Or the blaster take these little new exhaust pieces out or tubing whatever go ahead and flip the kickstands in on tab the back here split the legs take out the wheel there Just straighten everything out Okay, there's the legs done. But from here, whoop, I guess go ahead and take these spikes off. And here, take the wheel off, split the arms. Then bring this whole wheel section out. And it still wants to keep pulling away, so just Kind of work with it until it sits into there like that. Bring this whole assembly out. Go ahead and bring up this front end first. And then make sure that collapses into place there. Pull it up. Bring it back. Actually, first, bring this all in and around. There. Tab that all in. And from here, it's just a matter of straightening things out, unfolding the wrists. And some of that paint is starting to chip off, so I am going to have to go over that with another light coat, but shouldn't be a big deal. And even then, he's a junkie on, so paint's going to be a little scuffed up anyways. Go ahead and put the wheels on his forearms. Yes, it looks like he has three. Oh well. It's an aesthetic design choice. Okay. Then for the legs, put these on just make sure that all plugs in let's see which you can even plug it in on the inside of the legs like that to cooperate here you can have it just on the front like that, which actually yeah, it does look better. Let's just plug those in. And this one's still a pain because that spike is jutting out weird. But there we go. Give him his blaster here. Do that. And then for these, just like when we're putting it together, we'll go into there. And then Store the little blasters up on his shoulders. So blaster on the shoulder. 
and plug the piping to there. So yeah, I really dig this upgrade kit and it's it's been fun. I'm looking forward to see what else Nonf has planned, possibly with uh, Junk Heap or even other variations for the Retgar version of the mold. So yeah, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed this look at look and build, I guess, of rubbish other than, you know, me adding new paint to it to make them stand out a little bit more. So yeah, the link for Nonf's uh, kit here will be down in the description. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out all those links and we'll see you next time.